what is that? I've got a big cobweb on my head. Get off. Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this um, video leap tutorial. In this video leap tutorial, I'm just gonna quickly show you, it's not really a tutorial, it's just looking at the latest couple of updates. One of the updates being, it's got new stickers. I don't know what the old stickers were, but we can have a look anyway. And then the other one was um, a, trans a transition preview, so it automatically previews your transitions for you as you apply them. It's quite cool, and I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna show you that. So it's not um, let me um, take myself off the screen, just a distraction. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to click the plus button and add some stock video footage. I don't know why I have to ponder what stock video footage I'm going to use. Just use any. So yeah, let's look at the stickers. So you have to deselect the timeline. Um, you don't have to have anything selected to choose stickers. Select stickers and then you can um, look at the Giphy stickers or the Video Leap stickers. Now, as I said, great for Insta, so you can use them um, for Insta. And they're really, really simple to use in case you didn't know. So let me show you, select a sticker, and it just creates like a new layer. layer. So you can adjust the size and location of the sticker by twisting, pinching and squeezing with your hands. And then the duration of the sticker, what you can do is if you um, select the sticker, so you have the white outline around, so you can just drag it up or down with this, um, with the anchor point at the end to increase or decrease the amount of time it stays in the timeline. If you want to move a clip completely, by the way, instead of moving one end, then the other like this, you can do that. That is quite a reasonable way to do it. You just select and press and hold the teardrop, and then until the until the trash can or the bin pops up at the bottom, and then you can move it um, completely as a wanna, um, or you can get rid of it like this. Just drag it to the um, the bin or the trash can, and it removes it. Um, there's other ways you can delete it as well. Select it and select delete from the bottom toolbar. So yeah, that's the stickers. Like I said, there are apparently some new ones, but I didn't know what the old ones were anyway. I didn't use them. Um, if you make Insta stories, they're, they're quite cool for that. So the next thing that is really, really nice is that if you, let's say, split this clip, so I'm selecting the clip and splitting it, and if I apply a transition now, so let's just say the simple, I apply a fade transition. What the, um, what the system will automatically do is um, move the video back slightly and show you what that transition will look like when it's applied. Like this. I didn't do that, that did that by itself. So if I select another transition, it will go and it will give me a, a, a snapshot of what that transition will look like. So if I edit the duration of that transition, then select another one, it will show me what that one looks like as well. So yeah, really, really cool little update. I quite like it actually. Um, I don't think it will get annoying. Let me just see if, let me show you again. So I go up into the timeline, select the timeline, click split, select transition in the center there. Um, and this time we're gonna use this zoom transition, um, third from the left, and it will just automatically preview it for me. If you want to increase or decrease how long that transition comes, it takes to, um, takes to apply, use the slider at the bottom and then it will just give you another demo. So look, that's a little bit too long, so let's decrease that. And then you just get a little snapshot of what it, or the little, a little preview of what it looks like. I think it's a really, really little cool, um, neat trick. Well done to, um, to the Light Tricks team on that one. So yeah, that's really simple. Stickers, new stickers, ain't got a clue what they are, because um, I don't use them, but they are cool for Insta. Um, Insta stories, if that's how you make your stories in InLight. Um, and that little, um, that little preview. There we are. Take care, everyone. Um, and I'll, um, I'll catch you all again soon. If you have any um, sort of, um, if you have any requests for any, any type of tutorials, just give me a shout. Take care, bye. Um, just quickly, somebody asked me a question recently. How do you get the little diamond up to um, adjust the keyframe? You select the timeline, um, you apply an effect, and then the diamond will pop up as soon as you select the timeline anyway, the video in the timeline. So it's there in the bottom right corner.